Leo was born with a nerve injury. Her brachial plexus, which is a conglomeration of nerves, was injured. So the part of the brachial plexus supplies the diaphragm. So her diaphragm was injured and was paralyzed. So when your diaphragm is paralyzed, that part of the lung that the diaphragm innervates or supports won't participate with ventilation. They recommended Leah to come to Blightdale to have rehabilitation. Blightdale is unique in the pediatric population because most of the pediatric facilities in close proximity to Blightdale do not offer the services that Blightdale currently offers. We use non-invasive clinical information such as entitled CO2 monitoring and pulse oximetry, which is a great indication of success of pulmonary weaning. This new introduction of technology of the electronic impedance tomography, it's such an amazing tool. It, it, it truly is. And we're only one of the few that have this instrument. I think they sold about 32 units in the country, and of that, only two are pediatrics, and we're one of them. Our job here at Blightdale is to do ventilator weaning, which we've been doing for a long period of time already. But with the advent of EIT, we were able to really wean our kids more precisely and more scientifically. I think because of this, we are able to wean them a little bit faster, but safer, so they can be discharged faster. It's given the ability to the pulmonologist in real time to confirm that their prescriptions on the ventilator, prescriptions in ventilator settings, non-invasive settings, are actually the actual correct ones, eliminating any problems when the patient is discharged and reducing the amount of weaning time. If there's sicker kids that we accept at Blightdale, kids with really, really high ventilatory settings that I think in the past we probably would not be able to with those high settings, but with the help of new technology, new ventilators that we have, new machines, and now the addition of electrical impedance tomography, we're able to take care of those kids. For Leia, she was told that the weaning might take a couple of years, and with EIT, we were able to observe how the lungs are expanding for us to be able to wean her vent settings carefully. And because of EIT, we were really able to monitor her lung function, and she was able to wean faster than we thought we could because we have an objective way of knowing it. After that, we were able to wean her off without support and after that, we were even able to take her trait out. And because of EIT, we were able to look at her lung function carefully. And because of that, she was able to go home probably a year earlier than what was projected and also without any technology, without trick, without vent. Oh, Can you good. say, I did it? I did. Yay!